Hi guys, in this video we'll be learning how to model a basic coffee cup in Blender 2.8. Now there are various tutorials online that you can find on how to model a coffee cup, but the method that I'll be using is really a dead simple way and we'll be utilizing one of the new features of Blender 2.8. So let's get straight into it. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything because I don't need it. So just hit A on your keyboard to select everything and then hit X and then delete so that we have nothing in our scene except for the 3D cursor right in the middle. Now what you want to do is go ahead and add in a curve. So go Shift A, Curve, Bezier. Then what you want to do is you want to tap into edit mode. You'll find that our Bezier curve by default has a bit of curvature to it. We don't want to have any curvature, we just want to start with a straight line. So in order to make this a straight line, just go S, Y, 0. So what that does is it will scale on the y-axis to zero. And in other words, it will just flatten it out. So now we basically have a straight curve. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to position this point right on the center of our model. So in order to do that, go ahead and right-click this point over here, then Shift S, Selection to Cursor. Since that is where, oops, Shift S, Selection to Cursor. Since that is where our 3D cursor is right now. So we have something that looks like this. Okay, so once you have that, next we want to tap out of edit mode, back into object mode again. Go into the modifiers panel of Blender 2.8 and then go ahead and hit add modifier and then select screw. So once you added the screw modifier, make sure that the axis is set to Z. I'll explain why a bit later. So now tap into edit mode and select the point at the end over here and then just, oops, not that point, rather this point and then just move it up on the z-axis to somewhere about the height of your coffee cup. Something like that. I mean, you can use references if you want, or you don't have to, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, uh, maybe pick up a height, something like that, two boxes, and then uh, just rotate it around like so. I mean, you can even rotate it 90 degrees, so R90, so that you get something that looks like this. So we almost have a uh, pure-looking coffee cup. So we can start to see the shape of our coffee cup take into effect. So, so just to briefly explain what the screw modifier does is, well, if I just hide this for a second, this is our curve. The screw modifier will pretty much take this curve and spin it around this center axis over here uh, and create the mesh data that comes with it. So in other words, this curve will spin around and give us this kind of uh, a mesh. So if I change the axis, like Y axis, it will spin around on this green axis, the Y axis, and give this shape. If I, cho if I choose the X axis, it will spin around this red axis and give this kind of a shape. Well, whereas for our coffee cup, we want to spin around this direction, the blue line over here. So we change it to the Z axis, which is this blue line. Okay. So that's how we were able to quickly generate a coffee cup shape in no time without having to do any kind of modeling. But, but at the moment, the coffee cup doesn't look quite correct, but that's because uh, coffee cups have a base at the bottom. So we can do that. Just select both these points over here by right-clicking one point and then shift right-clicking the other, then W, subdivide. Then go ahead and in front view, uh, just move this down until you get a sort of flat kind of a base. So I think I'll go with that kind of a shape for my coffee cup. So once you're happy with the shape of your coffee cup, go ahead and add in a modifier called the Solidify modifier. What this will do is it'll add thickness to your coffee cup. And then simply drag this thickness, um, this thickness value over here. You can left click and then drag to choose how thick you want your coffee cup to be. So I might choose maybe 0.1 or 0.12 meters. Yeah, maybe 0.12 meters would be good. 0.14, yeah, something like that. Uh, that seems to be quite good. So we have the basic overall shape of the coffee cup. The only thing we're missing is the handle. So we need to actually hand model the, the handle part. So let's go ahead and do that now. So right now, since we're using a curve, we can't really do it. So we need to convert this into an actual mesh. So to convert it into an actual mesh, just go F3, convert to, so just type the word convert and then choose Mesh, since you want to convert it to a mesh from a curve. 
And now when I type into edit mode, we've now made it an actual mesh data. So let's just clean up the mesh a little bit, because right now we can see there's a bit of a pinching effect going on over here and here. So just type into edit mode, select this vertex over here. Uh, that only selects one of them. So what I'm going to do is I want to select this show whole scene transparent over here. And then what I want to do is I'm just going to select all these middle vertices over here. On this side and on this side as well. Okay, like so. Then go ahead and hit X, delete vertices. So that you have something that looks like this. Now you can turn this off again. And then you can Alt right click this loop over here. And then hit F to fill it with a face. Do the same to the other side as well. Alt right click and hit F to fill a face. And there we have the basic mesh for our coffee cup. So now it's time to model the handle itself. To model the handle, we're also going to do it in a kind of lazy, quick way. But we're going to use one of the new features that uh, are available in Blender 2.8. So tap into edit mode and select the point where you want the handle to come out from. So in order to do that, we need to change to the face select mode. And then just choose where you want the handle to come out from. I might say this, hand, this button over here is good enough. Or actually, I might just... Uh, Ro rotate this one so that it's in line with the x-axis. So select everything, R, Z. And this is rotate until it's sort of in line with the x-axis. Okay, now I'll just select this face over here. Now we can manually go like, you know, E and E and then rotate it and bring it down E. That's, that's another way that a lot of tutorials do it. But I want to do it a lot more quicker and easier without having to spend all that time. So what I want to do is I'm going to position this 3D cursor where I want this thing to spin around. So let's choose this as a pivot point. Maybe something like that. Okay. So this, this will be the center point upon which uh, I want to rotate this part of the coffee cup. Maybe even there. Yeah, something like that. Then you want to go ahead and choose this one over here. It's called the spin tool. So go ahead and click that. And suddenly we, our tool looks a bit different. We don't have the manipulator tools. We have uh, these new modeling tools that are in Blender 2.8. So what we're going to do is we just want to left click and then drag out like so. And you can see that it's using the 3D cursor over here as the center pivot point. So anyways, I'm just going to go like this and then just uh, put it to somewhere about there. Don't make it touching, just make it a little bit less. Somewhere like there. Okay. Uh, I think there's too many uh, cuts over here. I might just decrease that to maybe about seven. Yeah. Oh, actually, let's let's keep it at eight. Eight would be good. Okay. So once you're happy with that, I want to go ahead and change back to the select mode again, and then um, go ahead and select. Uh, so go ahead and shift right click and select the face where you want to connect to on the cup, so that you have two faces that you want to connect. Then W bridge faces, and that completes the model of the handle. Quick and simple. So now, if you want, you can go ahead and tweak the shape of the uh, the handle better. Uh, this is this part is relatively manual, so I may I might just go Alt right click just to select the loop, and then just shape it up a bit better. I might also Alt right click this one turn on proportional editing to connect it and then just move this in to make not to make it look so circular but rather more overly just like how coffee cups are I might also increase the height on this part like so maybe I mean, I guess here's a good time to add in a reference image, if you have any, of a coffee cup. But yeah, I'm just going to eyeball and choose something that looks like that. So we have the basic uh, shape of our coffee cup now complete. So the final thing that's left to do to, in order to complete our coffee cup model is to add some smoothing, because right now it's looking all a bit jagged. So let's go to the Modifiers panel again, Add Modifier, Subdivision Surface, and we're done. Turn up the views to make it even more smoother. And if you want, you can tweak the shape further over here. 
but for the most part I might consider this one good enough to go. So that's it, that's how you model a basic coffee cup. Let me go ahead and add in a very basic material just to finish off this cup. So add a material, we're going to use a principal shader, I'll just change it over to the shading mode and then maybe also turn up the uh, turn down the roughness since, since it's a relatively smooth cup it has a ceramic feel to it uh, we can also turn up the sheen I guess uh, also turn up the specular and the clear coat cool and if we like, we can play around with different colors. So we could choose to have our coffee cup in a different color. Might choose a blue color. Yeah, something that looks like that. Or if you're familiar with uh, texturing, UV mapping, you can add a design to your coffee cup as well. So that's how you create a simple coffee cup in Blender 2.8 without doing much modeling at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this kind of videos, please go ahead and like, share and subscribe uh, as I'll be putting out more videos like this. Thanks for watching.